What up, my friends? It is me, Mr. Squid Whiskers, and today we have a very interesting opening kind of thing here. Well, first of all, it's reflecting the kind of snowy graveyard we ended up in last time, if you remember, in the last episode, which I'm I'm kind of proud of. A lot, like a fair amount of people watched it and watched it for more than a minute, which was very heartwarming. So to everyone who watched that, thank you so much. But, uh... <laughs> Last time we went through that very interesting turn of sort of imagination in that flame world, and now we're here in a graveyard after the kid's mother has died. Uh, spoiler alert! Yay! But, um, it's, oh, this is, it just becomes more and more interesting, like these, ima these, like, half imagination, half reality sort of crossovers every time. But okay, so we got, um, crows, a shovel. Burying shovel. It, this is about zombies, I think, or something like that. Everything's snowed over. Looks cold. There's a doll hanging off a ledge. Because, um, the doll can hang off a ledge. And then a candle in that wardrobe. I have no idea if these, like, signify anything. They're all... Okay, I just noticed something weird. They're all... All of the crows. There's one in the chair, one on the floor, and one on the bed, I guess that is. They're all looking towards the doll, who's kind of like hanging off that ledge. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know why. Should I, should I be looking too? Should I have my crowly beady eyes right pointed onto the doll? I don't know, but uh, I'll see you in 30 minutes after the stage finally loads. All right, so here's the thing. I really don't know what we're doing in this ep in, the, in this stage. I mean, per the usual, but like still. There are brains back there, so I'm assuming we might be collecting zombie brains. Why? I don't know. The brother invented this game, not me. Alright, wait, can I make it over the fence? Dang it, I was gonna say sneakster. The trickster or something. It's gotta be possible. I bet you. Uh, maybe with the right jumping skills, but uh, no, not for me. That's, that's, that's never gonna be possible for me. Alright, I don't know where the kid... He's right. He has a cold. Is he just standing there? I don't understand. He seemed to have a cold, and he was uh just just standing there, I guess. Uh oh. Oh okay. I was wondering what that was. He he left me. Okay, he's no longer following me. At least as far as. I Nope, that's not working. I want. I had to check. It was making some weird noises. Where is he? Every time that bell rings, does that deter him? I'd like to get out of this place, but I can't. Like I can't jump over the. Where is he coming from? How would he do that? Okay. Are you gonna do anything? Huh. What is he? I'm so confused. He's like... This kid doesn't seem normal. Is he okay? Oh, this is so weird. Okay, is there any place to hide? Okay, in... Body bags? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's bags where bodies are stored. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Alright, but uh, here's the... Um, here's this, I guess. So, up here, here's our usual thing. There's the clock. Oh, it's by the tower. So, oh, how many do we have to collect? I'm scared, honestly. Alright, where's the guy? Oh, there he is. So, he's finally sort of acting normal. I would say. Like, 33. Okay, we saw 13 before, and now 33. So, I really don't know if there's any significance to that, but like, if there is any, I'm missing it, I'm missing it real good. I, I don't even know where to start checking. All right, well, there's this. Oh, okay, so we're gonna need a shovel for that. Um, wow. I probably should read the guidebook just real quick, because usually, uh, I like I like going into these things blind at first, that way I just get a chance to just play around with it and just see what the heck is going on. But, um, yeah, usually that doesn't really work, because I have no idea what's going on. But, um, oh, 
Yeah, I, the guidebook's usually pretty good about giving you the right, uh, like, good hints without telling you how to do it. Which is sometimes frustrating, but also, you just, it doesn't ruin much. So, I guess that's good. Let's see. Are there any, what are you, I'm assuming, I, I feel like we're collecting, can I read this? I'm assuming I'm gonna need that 13. Uh-oh. Real quick. Is he below me? Or is he coming up? Oh. Not here. Hit it. Jump. I made it. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I made it. I, I also think... I feel like that book is important over there. But I don't know where to use it, so I'm not gonna grab it yet. Oh, okay. So let's real quick just get our bearings. So there's the inside of a fence. Wait, where am I? What? Like, okay, this isn't the fence that I entered out of, is it? No. What the heck? Okay, 13. Okay, what's over there? I don't know if anything is over there. I couldn't tell you. There's a house, there's chairs, there's a bunch of pythons. There's... Refesh... Refesh team? Uh, I'm very confused. Okay, here's a pipe. Okay, maybe if we activate all those 13 pipes, or those all those 13 handles that pipe goes, and we can make it over the fence. Man, I don't know what's going on. Real quick, I'm gonna try to go back in for that book, because I feel like that book might have been important. So, just, there's candles everywhere too. Um, so I pump that. Don't know what it does. I could follow the pipe, but I'm too lazy to do that. Okay, what the? Why? I put the book here? Looked like it wanted to be there for a second. Yeah, that definitely looks like a book stand. Um. Uh. You, you lost me. I don't know what I'm doing or why. Here's another 13 pipe. Is this, like, stronger now or something? Oh my gosh, it is. Uh, bit too strong. Bit too strong. Uh. Um. Oh, oh, okay. I wait. Oh, here we go. So we can get into. We can get. There's. I really don't get what this is, or what purpose it serves. Okay, I really just need to read the guidebook. But first, let's just go explore here. Actually, you know what? I am gonna read the guidebook because I don't want to miss anything here. That's probably not. That's you know important or anything. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. it's gonna take me forever to find it. Level 4, the zombie graveyard. In the wake of their mother's death, Aaron Peterson took his anger over the edge. When Mia attempts to reach out to her brother, Aaron turns from angry tears to a dangerous new game involving a shotgun. I, I think it's just a court gun, but, like, okay. That leads us directly into the zombie graveyard level, one of the most harrowing uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna pause the game real quick. Uh, of the entire game where Mia needs to track down brains. Yes, that is how it's written. Or risk never returning to a normal life. Mm. Okay. Start by heading to the shack with a bare skin rug on the floor. We did that. Upstairs is a lever next to the number 13. Turn it and make sure to grab the book sitting on the lectern. Okay, we did all that. Next, you'll want to turn some levers out in the yard. On the far side is another 13, marking your second lever. And then 25 is tucked away near a st the structure of built-on pipes. Okay, these will grant you access to two key items. The crowbar that's near the frozen lake and the shovel, which sits at the bottom of the bell tower. Use the crowbar, the crowbar to pry boards off the front of the abandoned meat market. What? And there you will discover a cache of brains. The shovel allows you to dig into the black dirt, and, and 
mm -hmm. into black dirt at any point in the level, and your grave robbing will reward you with more brains for the basket. Okay. A harder to find brain. <laughs> Why does it have to be brains? A hard to find brain awaits you in the room with the busted TV. Smash that TV with your crowbar and set the book on the table to unlock a brain resting above the chair. The last major brain is located in the in the small building guarded by a hand or a, by a handful of zombies. Bust your way through using your items and gather your final bits of gray matter in order to bury this level completely. And that is it. There is no more instructions. That's it goes on to a different chapter after that point. So it said there were more levers that we had to turn and I don't know why. But then we need we need two items. So what the heck? All right, so here we go. Well, I didn't really make it up onto that pipe, but that's, I guess, fine. Hopefully it's fine. I am so confused. All right, uh, 1. 25. Oh, okay. There's no handle for 1. I don't know if that's important. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, let's just turn that. Will that unfreeze the lake, maybe? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, um, I don't know if there's anything up here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need to read that guidebook a few more times before I actually get what's going on. Alright, but, uh, let's just go look around real quick, because that's the best thing I can think of. Um, we got another number one with an excited mark. Or, yeah, whatever this is. And then another one of those twos that shoots you places. So maybe I have to find a wheel for that number one thing and then that will go so i guess this is we have to get in there to whoa okay so there's more nails i don't have a crowbar though all right let's just go here what oh that seems dangerous okay she's he's pointing us again but in much more not kind way i don't know if that was a action based thing or a so what's up here okay a sign 25 so i activated 25 oh my gosh i don't know what i'm doing i really don't i am so confused all right let's just let's just go for it i guess uh, let's go all right mm. let's just kind of jump at it though. let's go whoa, 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 whoa not not too hasty cowboy uh, maybe a little bit hastier, cowboy. I don't know. Okay, where's the shovel that it's talking about? All right. Jump. Hmm. That didn't work very well. Wait, is it no longer frozen? Fresh never frozen? It is fresh never frozen. Really? I wasn't even done yet. Uh, where am I? And how did I get here? What the heck? I can't. Okay, whatever. The kid went somewhere okay where is there's a broken like bicycle and a bet and there's the crowbar great i guess so let's see uh what okay okay just remove these wait how do i how do i do that? oh yeah i forgot which button this was i'm glad this isn't under time pressure because i am not able to pinpoint these things very well with my control oh wait can I just... Oh, just carry the giant board, I guess. So, now we're into here. And we get... One brain. Wow. I don't want to know where these things were harvested from. There's a lot of, uh, shoppers. Shopping. Just meat, I guess. These guys are weird. I don't like them. Can I punch them? Let's go. Let's find out. Guys, I'm gonna be real honest. I don't know where that went. Is there anything up here? Um, I can't. If there is, I can't get to it. So, um, anything up here? Well, still, still can't get to it. I don't see the shovel. Also, don't see any way to. Oh, okay. So I did get up here. I right, um. Wow, you really get a view, don't you? Um, real quick, let's just look. I probably should have taken those off. Then I could see if there's a shovel or anything. But I don't know how to get up there. 
or get up anywhere for that matter. So yeah, I probably should just watch the dang tutorial. But um, let's see what's in this thing. <gasps> Wheel. Okay, that's 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 good. That's something new. So put that there, then turn. Okay, I turned it. Perfect. Now where's it going? So I'm assuming that went probably to that one thing I saw over here. So if we now, I can't tell. Did that do it? It seems like it did something. Yep, it, it looks like it's going. So, what? Alright, let's go. Woo, what? Was I supposed to make it in the house? Into the thing. I don't... Can I break it? Let's go. Uh, okay, I watched like four minutes of the walkthrough on two times speed, mind you, because I don't got no time. And I have absorbed way more detail than I ever thought I could in four minutes, so there's a lot we gotta do. I think some of this stuff is kind of a little bit different than the book. And also, the book doesn't describe everything you have to do because it's the book. I was saying it doesn't always get everything, and although that's good for the early parts of the game, or for the people who are one, good at the game, and two, don't want much spoiled, or don't want much given to them, I should say instead, I mean, it's not much spoilers, it's, it's how to play the game rather than, like, what happens. I probably should explain what we're doing. I have to get up, get up these pipe works. Mm -hmm. I have to get up these pipe works, which platforming is not good for the mind or the soul. Especially with delayed controls. But, uh, you know what? I, Mario is easier than this. Well, of course Mario is easier than this. It's Mario. But, like, I still have trouble with Mario. And I'm, I, I mean, this is still easier. Right. So there's another... Okay. Very carefully and slowly. You can tell I'm not taking any... Even while not taking any chances, the chances took me. Don't you dare fall off, I swear to marshmallows. I have worked so hard for this, and if you take one diddly darn wrong step, I'm going to diddly darn put your face in the marshmallow pie. Okay, I was trying not to make it weird or slightly, I wouldn't say gory, but just very not probably advertiser or YouTube friendly. Okay, so we did make it over there, but yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so 33, that unlocks a completely different plug. But this, if I'm not incorrect, and I give no guarantees for that, but uh, let's go. Whoa, okay, yes, make it, phew. All right, so now if we make it up here, look where we are. We're in perfect, perfect striking distance for this thing. All right, let's go. Uh, unless I miss it. No! Uh, okay, I'm doing something different. Let's go. I screwed it up. How did I... You have to aim yourself properly into the thing. Because you have to get to a little landing. So. Uh, let's hope I did that right. I can't see where I'm going. So, like, if I didn't... Hey, I did. Oh, no, I did. I did. Okay, it took me a minute. But, uh, alright, so here's this book. It looks like something from Gravity Falls, honestly. But it's a glowy book, and it's a vows. Yeah, I don't like this book, honestly. So let's go down here, then what we do is we go in front of this guy, because he does it, and then we put not this book, but screw you guys, but the other book down on this table. All right, there you go. Read your nice little book, and then I think we go not there, uh, back here. Yes, okay. And then to this thing, I guess? I don't know. Right there, we got a chair. Why are there candles everywhere? This is feeling like, more like a basement. Rather than, you know, the upstairs or whatever. Alright, let's go. Come. Mm -hmm. Yes, made it. Alright, so then I think we just... Turn that off. Alright. So then if we go... I guess that works. Just here, and then up here, and then, you know what, just go from a frontal assault. Go for the frontal assault. Then we can grab this guy's... I guess this isn't really his brain, but whatever, why ever he had this brain. 
we get it now. So, um, how many items am I carrying? All right, so I, I still need that book, but I can, I think I have enough room for the shovel, but I have to platform my way up there again. Uh -huh. Can I, can I just go up here? No. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna blindly shoot for it. Okay, come on, that's gotta be it. That was so close to not being it. How is this efficient? How does this work if you can't you can barely even get on this thing? All right. So now comes my real test of courage. Can I fall? Okay, I can. Shovel! Yay! So let's just go. Woo! Why did it go backwards? What? Bro! It, it went backwards. It went, of all directions, it decided to go backwards. All right, let's go. Uh, you know what, I'll just hand deliver it. You know what, pizza delivery, we're just gonna go put it in there. Rather than making this whole complicated thing. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. No. No, whoa, whoa. No, whoa, whoa. Perfect. All right, so where is... All right, so the book... So now I'm gonna show what we do with this book, and I don't- it's kind of weird, but you know what? We're- we're in a level of zombies, what do you expect? Right, let's just go, boop. So then, we summon zombie spirits. And then, they go into the bushes, and bring back brains. Yes, this is, um, what happens. Uh, yeah. Just a note for, uh, earlier on in the video, I think this is going to be not made for kids, purely because of the subject material. I, it's still gonna be appropriate, I mean, even though there's brains out everywhere, like, it, I'm, I'm gonna make, I mean, besides that, I'm gonna just make sure everything's kid appropriate. Alright. So, wow, we're... Okay, so there's not that many brains. There's probably, like, the ones we've already done. Alright, well, we've already done a few. Like, four, maybe? And so we have six. So, like, we have to dig up all the ones in the graves. And then there's, like, all those ones in that cart over there. So... I don't know if I'm missing any. But, it, you know, it, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out later. Basically, now we just dig up graves. But, uh... I don't know where to find them. Huh. Convenience. Alright, let's go. There. Bam. I guess just grab it. Might as well. What not? Why not? Why not? Just get it. Alright, where is he? Oh, he caught me. You better not... Oh, okay, he didn't steal anything. Alright, so... He does catch you. That He wasn't before. He just never did it. So, I guess that's something. What the heck? Oh, yeah, this is where I last got... Wait, what is this? <gasps> oh. That is their mom's purse. Uh, is that her grave? Or is that sort of like the assumption? Okay, I'm not, I'm not freaked out. All right, yeah, did he steal a brain? Because we no longer, I, if I, if I uncovered two coffins, we should have had two brains. So if we got com caught immediately after that, then we wouldn't have those anymore. But, um, okay. I did discover, um, that yes, there are more brains in this superstore thing, so we're gonna have to go get those now, which is kind of annoying, but at the same time it's not, because you can actually just find these things, which I wish I had thought of earlier, but naturally I didn't, so, yeah, alright, so there, there's, yep, here we go, uh, alright, real quick, just fix that, alright, there, uh, alright, now grab the brain, grab the brain, grab the brain, I never thought I'd have to say this, but please actually grab the brain. Okay, if I go there, perfect. That took a lot of effort to get that one thing. Oh, it's more platforming, no. I can't, I can't, I need to find a way to fix these stupid delayed controls. Uh, all right, um, no, don't drift too. Like the delay is bad enough, man. We don't need, like, a, a bad time trio going on up in there. Right. Okay, I made it on. Now I just need to not die. Alright, great. 
So that's two out of... I don't know how many. Okay. Okay, so after uh, forgetting which ones I collected, missing some, and so many missed jumps, we do have all the brains from the store. There's one there. Uh, there's nothing special in the coffin like there was in that last one. Was that there before? I didn't notice it the first time if it was. Okay, so... Throw. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be real honest. I don't know where those are. Uh, as far as I can tell right now, and looking down too, he does not have any of my stuff. But uh, wait, why does he have two empty bags there? Uh, that's not scary. Wait, what are these? Were these here before? Oh, wait, I am forgetting something. Um, yes. There's, there, yeah, there's the zombies over here. Right, okay, um, I think I remember how to get in there. Let's see if this works. Will you come? Ah. Right, let's go. What are you guys gonna do? Did they just melt? I heard like the weirdest noise behind me. I'm like, oh gosh, they're coming for me. I've screwed it up. Did I just... <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? The shovel can go. I may... Okay, real quick. I may need that. Just real quick. Put it there. That was hilarious. It just started dancing. It was kind of funny. All right. Um, so hopefully that's all the brains I need. I did forget. I was wondering. I completely forgot about that. That's... Yeah, that's typical. All right. Um, oh, gosh. I would hate it if I got to, like, almost all of the ones I needed. And then just for some reason I couldn't find the last one. That is that happened before. That happened in the police one. I hated that police one. You have no idea how much pain that was to record. And then well, editing actually was somehow better. And mind you, there's a lot of footage to go through. But when half of it's trash, it does go quite faster, right? So, let's go bam. I'm telling you, I have no idea why it specifically goes whenever I'm standing still. But you know what? Let's let's just let's just not even risk it. All right, is this the last one? <gasps> it is. All right, dinner time. Where though? All right, you're looking. Ow, kid, don't do that. Stop. Ow. No. Stop. Why? Why? You were so nice before. Ow. That's mean. Okay, is he is he realizing that he's kind of. Oh, Mr. Neighbor goes through. All right. Throws the gun down. He's very mad. Okay. He Oh, so he called them for dinner. He she has it all. Just steals the spoon. Dude. You just kind of Dude, you just destroyed a plate. Well, uh, on one hand, you kind of deserve it. Okay. Alright, so he's directing them. He's trying to make sure they get through, and I, he knows, I guess Aaron was mad. Well, the neighbor considers him a bad omen, so, like... So, I mean, directing them is more just, uh, yeah. Uh, um, hmm. How do I explain there? How, how do I digress? How do I want to put this in words of, like, yeah... Yeah, Aaron's very mad at the moment, and me is kind of caught up within all the turbulence, I would say. So what comes next, then? So, Mia comes and is probably going to try to say hi to her brother. Alright, so he's crying. She has the doll. Nope, says no. Why? Oh, wait, that's the same doll from... Wait, is there another stage? Oh, wait, now, are we counting now? Are we counting? Um, bim, boom, bim, bum. That's not how you count, but oh, 
Wait, what is this? This isn't even in the guidebook. Okay. Um, it's very dark and moody and the radio's not on. I'm not gonna turn it on though because I know if I turn it on, it'll never shut up, so. Also, I still feel like the gaping hole in the roof is probably not a good idea. But, uh, alright. It's now the third of Yam, not the... I don't forget what it was. I, I open. Uh-oh. This isn't in the guidebook. What? Alright, there's another basket. There's the clock. It's not ticking anymore, though. Do we actually have to go find stuff, or...? Wait, which way do I go? There's two paths. Alright, that one looks, uh... Let's say, more or less blocked off. So can we even... What is going on? That's a lot of dolls. No time increase. That. I don't like this, I'm gonna be honest. Uh. Wait, so am I now the seeker? Oh, I'm freaked out. I don't like this. Okay. There's a globe thing. There's the French... No, that's... I don't know what that's called, actually. So do we have to catch him? Or is this like a story segment? I am... I am so confused. Alright, so there's a flashlight. There's all those dolls. And then there's a staircase. Oh. It almost There's so many. The thing's still not moving. Why are there so many dolls? Oh no, I don't like that. Those are some very turbulent skies and there's still a crow. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this at all. Oh no. Keep it together, Whiskers. It's not that scary. It's just your imagination. Okay. Uh, let's go bounce. Alright, where did I end up? Can I make it? I guess I can make it back over there. Do I want to? Where am I going for? Or what am I going for, I guess I should say. <gasps> what the what? Okay, all the dolls are still there. There are some noises when you place the last ones. So real quick, I'm gonna go do that again. I'm gonna do exactly what I just did that ended up getting me. I I wasn't I wasn't looking down when it happened, so I can't really say what it was. But uh, all right, so I'm up here now. Do I need to be up here? I feel like my goal is to get to that door. But I don't know how, so... Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna just get up here. This railing. Okay, so... Oh, so there's just no ground, apparently. Well, there goes my fall into darkness. Isn't it ironic? That the solution to the puzzle is in the death trap. At least as far as I'm concerned it is. Didn't get a good look at the tutorial because I was trying not to see what happened next. But as far as I'm concerned, if I land on this light bulb, which is kind of a low chance. Oh. Well that's new. Yeah, there's a there's a lever. So if we push that, then I didn't like that. I don't like that. I don't like it. Well, well, that was a lot of my life. I'm not getting back. All right. Oh, there's more. Oh man. 
I hear war noises. I heard like the uh, weird shadow guy noises or the thing noises. I think it's like in the book they just call it the thing. So I'm just kind of going with that. There's two weird different types of enemies. There's like the bird guys that we saw in Hello Guest or also sometimes called forest protectors if the uh, the team's feeling spicy. Well, m more if they're writing a book. But, um, there's also then the thing, and I don't know how this will... No, I don't know how. I'm, I'm still reading the, that poor telenator. But... Okay, this is almost going to be more tedious. Purely because it's little jumps that I can't properly perform with my current ability. Right, wait, can I just go here? No. Let's go. Alright. So where, where... Mm. Okay. That was not what I was meant to do, was it? Alright, I believe in the power of the force. Mm. Usually that doesn't work. Alright, but, uh... Where now? Wait, I see the solution before I have to have it presented. I just can't make it to the solution! Mm, I found the solution, but I don't know the equation. No, I know the equation, just every time I input it, something goes wrong. So, y y that's actually... Wow. That math analogy. It worked, for once. Um, like, an analogy I made worked. Two, it was a math analogy. Which is probably even harder. And three, you've got to be kidding me, please. Just let me out. So, I made it up. I hear weird noises. I, I don't... Get it. Oh. Oh, then. I guess that was the solution. Okay, shut up. You're scaring me. I don't like to be scared. Alright. What is this? Okay, there's light. Whoa. Okay, what is this? Is this Raven Brooks? This looks like a... Is this our roof? Uh oh. Oh. Oh oh. Oh no. I don't like this. Where's the turquoise house? This looks to be our roof. Uh oh. Okay. Um. We'll, t we'll talk afterwards. We'll talk afterwards. Um, but. No! Why do we even have steam stacks on here? This isn't it. This isn't like. What? What? Why? Alright, let's go here. Alright, uh. I don't know if there's like. A way to get up? Okay. I don't. Oh no, I don't like this one bit. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of explaining to do in that explaining video. Alright, um... Let's go. Oh, no. Okay, I'm actually making these. Knock on wood. Punch the wood, Mia. Uh, but... I'm actually making these jumps. I, I think I've just gotten so used to it. Like, I don't like this. It's like, okay, let's just take a look. There's a water tower. There's a bunch of houses. It's very foggy. The sky is, um... I don't think the sky is supposed to do that. I'm going to match the sky. You know, I'm gonna turn backwards from the sky and give- Oh, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I'm actually getting dizzy. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, kids, don't go on your roof. I swear I heard something. Don't go on your roof. There, I mean, even- Oh, okay. I need to get to the support bars because I'm drifting. Alright, but, um, don't go on your roof. If there's management, uh, you may be able to do it yourself. Calling a professional is always a good idea. I mean, this is more when you're grown up rather than when you're kids. Don't go on the roof for fun either. Uh, roofs are dangerous. Um, what else? If you do there, wear proper shoes. Make sure you have grip. Make sure there's an ambulance on hotline. Make sure uh, you're not you 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 have a partner. To make sure, well to make sure you don't fall. To make sure if you do fall that they can do something to try and help you. <sighs> what else? Ah, uh, I don't know. Just don't go on your roof kids just don't especially with your friends okay well there's the doll there's the doll yep grabs right 
Hello, my doll. Okay, hug. Aww, hugs. Yes, please back away from the edge, Mia. Uh oh. Hmm. What are you gonna do? What are you, dude? Dude. 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 No. No. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I was afraid. I was afraid that would happen. Oh. As soon as they went on the roof. Uh. We'll talk. There's some book stuff. Uh. Just. Yeah. There's some book stuff. So there's. So Aaron got so mad that he eventually. Accidentally, sort of. Pushed me off the roof. There's the neighbor guy. Who's wait? Who is watching it from him from there? Who's viewing is this? What even happened? There's. He had to dig another grave, or he's digging another grave. And there's the sound. There's that stupid bell. Oh, tiny build and uh, dynamic pixels. I don't know like who everyone like. What to do is okay. Varvar uh, Ponika as the sister. No, okay. Add uh, there's two people as the brother apparently, but they have names, you know. In the notebook, they actually have names. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know how long this credits lasts, but I'm feeling we're just gonna see this guy digging a hole. So um. In the books, in the books, let's go for in the books. So, uh, actually, okay, this is kind of weird because someone's watching the neighbor do this. Okay, that was the end of the credits. Is anything gonna happen? Is he just gonna keep dicking like he did in the previous credits? Or is something just gonna go on repeat? Okay, um, here's the thing in the books, the main character in the first three books, the fourth actually follows Aaron, the kid, who just pushed me off the roof. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. Uh, <laughs> how, to, how to talk about this, honestly. But in the books, in like, I think it's the... Uh, spoiler, by the way. I, these books are good. I like them. I enjoyed reading them. So, spoiler, in case you, uh, you actually want to read those. But, I mean, at this point... What I'm about to tell you is kind of already spoiled, but in the in the book, uh, the main character Nicky Roth, the guy across the street, the guy we play as in the first game, uh, he he goes and he eventually he digs up some tapes. He he well no he goes the in the, and I think the first book the neighbor he sees the neighbor bury bury something, in the ground, and so like three two weeks later he actually goes and he digs it up and it's a it's like a bag, full of these tapes. Oh, they didn't get ruined in the time it took that to pass? I have no idea. Well, they are, they're, they're sort of bashed up, but he, he goes, um, he gets like a VHS or whatever. Mind you, this is back in like the 90s. So, but, and he, and he fixes them. But one of them is especially broken, and he has to like stitch it together. He basically has to Frankenstein the thing. But he eventually gets it, and it shows just a compilation of clips where, um, I don't know, like, Mia's holding a camera. And so she's just kind of, she decides... It's weird, because she goes into, like, she goes kind of back to that first act, and she's, like, narrating Aaron as he does something. It's like, the grumpy older brother species draws, or does this. And so, Aaron gets mad, like, slightly mad, not, like, super mad. And then, like, I don't know, they some, it cuts, and they're just somehow on the roof. Why? I don't know. But they're on the roof, and just, like, yeah, they, and something goes wrong, and Mia just falls off with the camera in hand. Mind you, and it's 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 Aaron's doing. It's accidental, but he's the bad omen. Well, I don't know if he actually does that per se, but he is the bad omen. So, pretty short, yeah, pretty shortly, I think. I, actually, I, I have no idea how long it is after the the mother dies. Uh, Mia goes as well, and so now it's just the the other two. It's just Aaron and his dad, and. 
Boy, we have some things to talk up whenever I make an explaining video on this series, which may be a while. But for now, thank you for the credits, but I can't... I don't know what to do. Okay, resume. Okay, real quick, real quick. Let's just say. Let's just say. I, I don't know, like, if this is where I need to end it all, or, like, should I wait? Should I, should I, like, can I, like, go past the credits? I don't know. I, this is an unfamiliar platform. Okay, I'm gonna just push all the buttons. Uh, that's not the right button. Alright, so I push, I'm pushing all the buttons. None of them seem to be working. So there's, yeah, the neighbor has to dig a grave. He's very sad again because... I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna spell that one out. There's also, what is that? Okay, there's something right there, like, just in front of the street, kind of? I, what is that? Alright. I don't know what else to do, so, uh, settings, no. Um, select stage, no. I guess just quit? Quit? Yes. Do I want to quit? I'm assuming that where the game, that's where the game ends. That's where the settings end, at least. What, okay, I want to know, what's the, what's the, um... What's the opening, or what's the thing you get for stage five? Like, what's the, um, oh. Okay, so, um, let's just take a look around real quick. So there's the, there's the, there's the toy gun or whatever it is before. Uh, there's, um, there's the roof, which there's just a door open to. And there's all the crows again, but I can't really tell what they're looking at. They're all sort of just looking outside-ish, but never at one spot, or kind of up. So I don't know if there's like some illusion with all the shadows that's going on there. But do you guys remember, in the at the beginning of the episode, we saw the doll hanging off the side of that thing. Mm, foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. Well done, foreshadowing, foreshadowing too. Very well done. I, yeah, that was good. But uh, okay. So that is Hello Neighbor. That is the end of all. Well, that's all the game. Well, that's all the games I'm gonna play from now. I might go back and revisit Secret Neighbor if I'm ever feeling spicy because I really, I, I do like that game. That was, that hmm. Uh, if I had to rank the games, I don't know what I'd do. They all just, they have very different feelings tied to them. Just very different. Like, that, I have a lot of history with the first Hell and Neighbor. These ones, this one, it was definitely a lot of interesting. It was very interesting. The whole, like, the whole mechanic behind it was pretty fun. Looking around the things, it got tedious sometimes and it got annoying. Other times, like, that police level, do not, no, let's just never, please, not the police level. But yeah, that the police level, um, yeah, whatever. But it was, it was definitely, I'm trying to think back to the progression. First it started with the Savannah, and the Tiger, and all that, which was definitely very different. It was, it was kind of, the, the game went through like 14 different stages. First of all, it was very textured at first. It was just, there are all these individual animals you had to get in very specific places for all of them. And like, it was very planned out that first one, because that's like the demo level. Then in the second one, that, that faded, like it was all the same object that you had to get. And there were just more of them, and they were everywhere. And they just, they were just, they, I don't know, I wouldn't say, they weren't cleverly hidden, they weren't like the best. I, yeah, the second stage definitely was my least favorite. Then you get to the third one, it seems like they transition, they're like, well, we can't just make individual items for all of this. We have to cut back. So the second stage was like, uh, just throw all this in. And then the third stage, things finally picked up, and they, they had better ideas and stuff like that. They just knew what they were doing more. And then the fourth stage, that was definitely a very cool stage. I like that. It was much different. It, well, yeah. Both the third and fourth stage were weird. They were like, how much is this? Is, how much is this is reality, and how much of this is imagination? Then the fifth stage, I don't quite get that. The fish state, I'm pretty sure, is just the sequence of events of that hide and seek round. Just, uh, I guess, well, yeah, um, Mia looking for a doll, which somehow managed. Why, why did Aaron place it on the roof? I don't know. And then 
pushed her around while she was on the roof. That is the, no. Never go on a roof in the first place unless you absolutely have to. And then don't, don't horse around on there. Don't start a campfire on the top. Don't have a wrestling war. This isn't a James Bond movie. People's bones just don't, or just don't not, or don't not break. Is that, whatever, I don't know. Don't not break because like you want them to. Movies are greatly exaggerated. That's that's not how that real life stuff works, but uh Dang! Alright, so yeah, I am gonna go over this. The books, yeah, the books and the new game, kind of some foreshadowing and all that. Eventually, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to put that together. We'll see. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna tie all this in and kind of... Secret Neighbor is kind of a weird game to place because it's not exactly in the timeline, per se, because it's a multiplayer game and there's repeated message and there's not really like a set storyline and there's also a lot of secrets kind of hence the name but uh yeah there's just and then there's hello guest which is just a whole other story they may have updated it or something i don't know i haven't even looked at it i was too scared but uh yep that's the end of the hello neighbor saga uh i don't know what's gonna happen next i'm playing undertale so stay tuned for that i'm also gonna play uh i guess well, if i if but yeah i might play delta and if undertale works out uh, I have a lot of other games I have to make it through, too, but I definitely do want to look back on this game and just keep updated with it. So I will play games of this in the future, but for now, that is it for Hello Nader. So thank you, Nader. That is it for Hello Nader. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, do subscribe, do like, do comment, do share. And I will see you guys all next episode of something else, I guess. How do you respond to someone falling off a roof? Squid cat out.